We are a rescue group, so we go to the local animal controls and pull dogs from there. Most animal controls don't have the capability of holding dogs for long periods of time, so we bring them here, we get them vetted, they're spay neutered, microchipped, have all their shots, that kind of stuff. Um, we also offer training to the dogs while they're here so that we can kind of learn the dogs. We have foster homes and they learn the dogs so that we can actually find the right home for them. Um, so we do more of a matchmaking here and try to make sure the dog goes to the right home. Last year we adopted out over 800 um, cats and dogs, puppies, kittens. So we're always looking for volunteers. The more volunteers we have, the more lives that we can save. It's so rewarding to see a dog come in and you know we've had dogs come in that are terrified, that don't know people, or they come in with severe cases of mange and just all the volunteers here really bring them out of their shell and by the time they're ready for adoption they're in a completely different dog. And you know if you were to see that same dog in an animal shelter, no one would want to adopt it because it doesn't look like a very friendly or you know family dog, but then by the time mostly mutts kind of integrates them, um, you know, we have people lining up to adopt them and they get to go to a new wonderful home that they may not have had otherwise. Um, so that's why I love Mostly Mutt specifically. And then TL just, you know, we try to do as much in the community as we can. Uh, so the fact that we can kind of join my two passions together, my love of, you know, Land United obviously and my love of helping dogs um, was really amazing.